Safe connection shutdown is one way to manage modular machines. Let's start by taking a look at my existing project. Under the I.O. tree, I have an EL6910, an EK1100 with an EL1904 and EL2904, and an EK1101 with an EL1904. This EK1101 will be the modular section of my machine. Under my safety project, the EL6910 is my target system. I have two groups set up. One is the primary module of the machine with an EL1904 and EL2904. Then I have an optional module for my machine that includes the EL1904. This optional module feeds safety data back to the primary. On the primary section, I have an input and I have an input coming from the optional section to an output. I've set up my sync units to comply with best practices within TwinSafe. I have one sync unit that's dedicated to the EL6910 and another sync unit that has the TwinSafe I.O. The EL1904, EL2904, and then what will become the optional EL1904. First, I'll assign a device ID to the EK1101. Next, under my I.O. tree, I'll select the EK1101, set the identification value, and assign it to a hot connect group. I'll alter my safety project to accommodate the safe connection shutdown. First, remove the connection between my primary module an optional module. See we disappeared on both sides. I'm going to add in an OR command to replace it. And now I'll choose the decouple out on my optional module. You can see I have other groups checked so that I have access to this. Now I'll add the safe connection shutdown block. Provide a variable. Now connect that variable up to input channel three, where I have another switch connected. When it's deactivated, we or. This means that we're either going to get the input from the optional module, or in the case of a safe connection shutdown, we'll provide the pass through here, in which case we'll still be able to turn on the output. Uh, next, we'll connect the safe connection shutdown to connection ID seven. Now that I've got my new blocks in place, I'm gonna make sure that my order of execution is correct. It's really important to note that this example code is just to show functionally how it works. Your risk assessment would really need to evaluate exactly how the safe connection shutdown needs to take place. I'm also gonna activate the configuration because we made changes to the sync units. Now when we go online, we'll see an error because of activation. Go from run one, zero, one. Now our contactor is currently on because the primary input is on and the optional module input is also turned on. Now if I do a safe connection shutdown, we're no longer evaluating the signal from the optional module. You can see that the code's not running and that the alias device is deactivated. Now I'll disconnect the optional module. We can also see in our EtherCAT online view that the devices have no connection. Now when I plug it back in, we'll see them reconnect. And we're in op mode. The optional module is still deactivated 
and the primary module is still operating as, as we would expect. Now, if I turn off the safe connection shutdown, our optional module group activates and the logic resumes. And that's one way to use safe connection shutdown to manage a modular machine.